Welcome inside Redbird Arena. Alongside former Illinois State assistant coach Bob Morris, I'm Kurt Pegler. Redbird's wrapping up their non-conference schedule tonight. UIC was still another week to go on the non-league schedule, but it's conference time in about a week for both of these schools. Big game tonight for that purpose. No doubt. They're both looking to carry momentum into conference play. Coach McLean is going to roll the dice and stay with Odiasi. He gets three this early. Look at that move by Tinsley. There's something that I know the staff has been working with him on. Redbirds quickly up oh, the floor. Here's Fain. There you go. Right on cue. You say that Malik Yarborough has a way of finding his teammates, and he zips a pass to Fain for the dunk. Yarborough's on the floor, or not on the floor. And Tinsley followed up a Phil Fain miss with a jam of his own. He's quietly put together a nice night. Madison Williams now seven to shoot. Fain, top of the key, top of the circle, and that's in. And so the Redbirds have now closed the half on an 8-0 run and go to the locker room at the half with a four-point advantage, 33-29. It's tipped out to the Redbirds' Keyshawn Evans, quickly back up the floor. He leaves for Yarbrough in the paint, in traffic. He's going to get his own miss and score. I like the Redbirds in transition. Get it and go. Make something happen out of transition. Not much positive happened for the Flames that time. And Yarbrough takes it right back to the rim, scoring in the foul. If it worked once, let's try it again. This is Dixon, had a shot blocked by Yarbrough, doing it on both ends of the floor. Yarbrough again to the paint, and again, successful. <laughs> There's no answer for him. He just, he goes to the rim when he wants. He's gonna purposely miss that one and see if the Flames can't even get a shot off, and it's a heave from three-quarter court. And that's your ball game. Illinois State 71 and UIC 70. And a big sigh of relief for Malik Yarbrough, who is our player of the game. 